Call in 407 906 4440. And that's one of that one of your that one of your first songs, ain't it? Yeah, like what well, my second like my third song, like saw some it was paper chatter. Mm-hmm. And and but that's the one you that's the main one you that's be pushing. The, yeah, that's the um, that's a hit. Yeah, you still pushing that? That's that yeah. hard. That's a hit for sure. Right. 
<laughs> God damn. Nah, I see you probably, play that. you probably play that in the strip club a lot. They probably make money off of that. Yeah, yeah. That's a, um, <laughs> nah, he, that new song you got for the strippers, right? Which one? What's, it? What's that new song you got that you just dropped? But well, you just made like a little video to it. Yeah, it's like a love song with, with like a, a girl like some from school or something. <laughs> that's when you oh, with the oh, robe yeah. on. Oh, that's not oh that was the, um, on the drip, drip, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, with the robe on. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what the robe on. What's that song called? Um, I ain't got no that's, song. That's, that's my boy, Mega the God, man. Shout out to Mega the God. That's, that's called She Never, man. She Never, <laughs> she never, never made it. Yeah, he yeah he he, he, he from Broward, but he stayed in Texas, man. He, uh, you know, he just, I tell you what, y'all gotta watch the dude that be with them hallways ticket, man. I ain't never met no fifth grade that say. Most of us say like, man, we finna go to the store and steal some candy or something. This nigga said, yeah, go. No, I, know, I did that too. I, I just folded my little belt, put it in my book bag. I still was stealing. Man, you know how close you gotta be to the principal to be writing hallway tickets. Like you gotta be going in that office every day. For them to even know you to even be writing tickets. That's not how it works. See, that's how, how, how it went. That's how you. That's how, how it went. I know you ain't really a part of this. You ain't no, yeah, yeah, I ain't no police ass nigga. Never you got, been. You got, you I'm, all, I'm always the one that get the ticket wrote on. Damn right. I know. Yeah, I know yeah, I, <laughs> what you gotta sit with the teacher. You just jealous, bro. Like, I, you have to sit with the teacher. Oh no, I'm trying to understand how you get how you. I just I can't comprehend how the hell you just come up to want to write tickets. I, I had a, a whole belt. They had a shot. It was all oh, you was a crossing guard too. No, it was, I had, it was you a was a crossing guard too. No, I just was fly. You had the belt and it came down. Oh, oh, you, oh, you just liked the, the uniform. Like a little half overall. You yeah, just bad. liked the uniform. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you just liked the uniform. Yeah, I was lit. Bro. So as a little I, kid, I, you already knew you you wanted a bag. I ain't gonna let you ruin my childhood. I was lit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> What that, what that black boy? I'm fucking with black man. Yeah, hurry up, ruin it up, man. I'm talking about fucking up. That boy said. You feel like second hand. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm, yeah, for real. I'm high as hell. My eyes look like yours. <laughs> look like mine, for real? <laughs> Man, what is, man, what is, man? <laughs> it's Friday, man. What the fuck is this, man? What is, what is black what came up here on, man. What y'all been drinking before you got here? Nah, I'm completely sober. Oh, yeah, man, you need a drink, man. You don't want the rest of them? Nah, I'm good, man. Huh? You got you you off life? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm worse drunk, man. You know that. Yeah, we need you drunk, because, like, you come in here with your guns out, man. Right. That's why I'm shooting at you, man. <laughs> Fat ass, ain't no, I ain't never going to let the police come in the room, man, and shoot up the room, man. You got out. Fuck though, you only get a pass because you from Eveville. Nah, I'm a, th I'm a thug though. I'm a thug. That was in my past, bro. Y'all let Rick Ross live. Let me live. That was in my past. Rick Ross was bringing the sack in. Me too. I bring no, the sack you in. just said you wanted the badge and the little, the little cross shit to go around your stomach. Oh, now your memory all good. Now your memory good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. And, hey, Miss Bree, what, you you was a, you thought about being a um. The little Don't hallway lie, ticket, man. Don't lie, I know, I knew, I know. Be I wanted to. Exactly. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. We gotta go around the room now. Hold on. We gotta go around the room now. Why I gotta check these? Why I gotta check these temperatures, boy? Why I gotta check these temperatures in the room, boy? Why I don't know what I'm around, boy. I'm around a whole bunch of hallway. I couldn't do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Juan. We going to you. Hey, hey, I'm glad Miss Bree ain't locked. Uh, I, I know Miss Bree. What? Hey man, anybody, anybody on this live? Boy, y'all wanted to be a hallway cop? <laughs> I ain't never ever thought about being a hallway cop. I, like I wonder how the hell y'all got to school so early. <laughs> I always came to school like, oh, what the fuck is they doing here? They here before the teachers get here. Oh, <laughs> they they dedicated to that shit. It's crazy though, because my kids, <laughs> my son went to school for the um, public school the first time this year, and I dropped him off at the car. He's like, Daddy, why them kids always telling though? <laughs> 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 that would have told him. He raised a little kid. <laughs> 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 hey, man, I'd rather raise him than the little police ass nigga. Like, get your little, I ain't gonna like him. I get your little police ass out of here. Y'all didn't want that. Listen, my son, man, he got that little Elvis look on him. Like, he look like Elvis. 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 Like, he look
cool. My oldest son was talking about going to the service. And, like, I respect it. But I just looked at him like, for a sound, like, man, get the fuck out of my face. And then I had to calm down and be like, come here, man. I'm dead wrong, man. Listen, you can do that, man. That's a good career. <laughs> but when he first came to me, he was like, damn, I'm going to go to the Army. I would say that. You don't want to go, you want to, go to college. You don't want to go to SEC. You want to, you want to go to the Army. First choice. First choice. Like, what the fuck you been around? Like, get the fuck out of the room. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I like, kicked him out of the room first like, quarter. Stop trying to beat somebody. That's your damn problem. Nah, I was just like, what if a war come and then you got to go fight for these motherfuckers? Yeah. Like, and then you get for? killed for these motherfuckers. I be thinking about how the fuck is you a vet and you don't got no place to stay. That's true. And you don't got no insurance. Like, them motherfuckers will come back with a house, a car, well, everything. Like, they should be, huh? I don't be smoking this shit away. But still, the government, the government should have them come back. They should already have a house, a car, whatever you want to sell the shit when you I'm get here, smoke the shit up. Oh, from over there. So, so you know, they run out of them drugs and they be going to the streets and going from there. Oh, but I'm just saying, man, I ain't finna go. F- that's like, listen, I ain't even finna. Like, if you my dog and you don't got in the fight and it's a one on one and you don't want to fight, I ain't fighting for you ever again. Like, you a bitch ass nigga, I ain't fighting no more. So why the fuck I'm gonna go pick up some guns for this fucking government that if I do something wrong, they gonna lock me in jail for a hundred years. That's a lot of benefits and you don't even do nothing. Huh? That's a lot of benefits though. Yeah, it's a lot of benefits, but is it worth it? If you really go to war. That's real though. That's real. If you really gotta go out there and put your life on the line, is it worth it? These motherfuckers shooting over your head, all this crazy ass shit. You don't even know why you over here killing these people. These motherfuckers might be over here for a totally wrong reason. They might be over here trying to fucking take cocaine. You don't know what the fuck they killing these people. You over here got your life on the line, killing these bitches. You lose a leg or arm, they send your ass back home with a little check. <laughs> Talking about salute. And then we got vets. You feeding the vets. That's what you were feeding. Most of the motherfuckers out there was vets. You feel what I'm saying? We shouldn't have to feed these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers losing limbs and losing their mind. Bro, my brother went to the army, came back, and killed himself. Like, I don't know what the fuck they doing to them people over there. Man, then my son come around like, oh, I want to I wanna go over there. My dad, when I was younger, he was like, oh, I want all my sons to go to the army. You a goddamn lie, not this one. <laughs> you nothing in the wrong bitch, because I got my mama blood. <laughs> I'm not going over there. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I'm not going over there fighting no war. I don't even got nothing to do with it. And then my dad died in prison. They gave him 100 years for defending himself. And he tried to plead to him, like, oh, I was, I was defending myself. Take this life sentence. He died in prison. And then you want to send me to fucking, nah, hell no, nah, I ain't fighting on it. That's crazy how you, know, you just want to get out there. You got to go to jail for that. Man, you see Muhammad Ali gave up his career behind that shit, so you know that shit's serious. This man gave up a whole career behind that. I ain't going to fight for them fucking. I salute everybody that do it, everybody, you know, for they, they grind. Nah, for your grind, like, sometimes you got to go out there and do it to get, to get. You know, most of, most people that join the army be hoping they, they don't go to war. Oh yeah, right. Miss Bree, you was in it. You was out there, right? Yeah, That's the yeah. nigga that wanted the bads with you. I just didn't know. That wanted the bads with you. <laughs> but but Miss Bree was over though. Like I don't knock the people that go, cause a lot of people just go. Like my son, my son ain't come to me for like like. Want to be, you know, he wasn't in the fifth grade with no badge or writing no hallway tickets. He just looked at it like, if I stay here, I'm going to get in trouble. Right. So, yeah. Just trying to better his life. Yeah, he was just trying to do something. I was just like. And one thing I can say about the military, man, that shit teach you a lot about life and how the world fucking operates and what goes on behind the scene that nobody don't talk about. Yeah, that like, you realize America fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to go to the army and get stuck like that. Like, oh, that's what I'm saying. You I got saw the video with the tornado where they made their own tornado. Oh yeah, you seen that? Yeah. I was telling people. I've been telling people that before. Yeah. Before they even show that, but I've been telling people. And they, with me, I'm always the bad guy. They like people don't even want to listen to me because they be like, I'm an alien. Like, the fuck, how they how they control and make the weather? Like, all right. 
It just it just in the drought season. But what I'm saying in the it just happened between this this time of the year when it ain't nothing going on. We don't got no holidays, no nothing, no school, no nothing. That hurricanes come. Run out there, spend your money, buy up all the old ass canned goods <laughs> and these waters that ain't gonna never sell. <laughs> come come buy all these oh, shits out. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Come buy all these shits out. And then realize it. The hurricane ain't coming. My bad. We were bluffing. Not one tree fell over. Hey, man, don't tell them. They'll bring They'll they'll make one of them knock over some trees. You keep on talking. (laughs) When? What what hurricane? What? This last one ain't even come. Yeah, you uh, can't count the last one. Before, no. But yeah, cause it, for no reason. Listen, you knew that one that was wasn't coming. Money. When the hell did a hurricane come and they promoted it two weeks before? Yeah, that shit was crazy. That was like a club and event. They, they having the interviews and shit about the hurricane. I ain't never seen that shit. Once once I seen a bitch do an interview about the hurricane, I said, nah, they promoting this shit. <laughs> the Most of the time when a big hurricane comes, they tell you like three days before. Four days before, you got enough time to make it to the stove, make it to the gas station, put some wood up, and get your ass in the house. That's true. That shit, that shit was like Chris Brown was <laughs> For real. That shit, they was all on CNN. What you did for the hurricane? <laughs> what the fuck? Hurricane next week. Everybody, everybody calling me about the hurricane. I'm like, the hurricane is next week. <laughs> next week. Man, I got to get through this week. Fuck next week. <laughs> Hold on, Mike. Hold on, Vic. You on the mic? No. Oh, I'm trying to, trying to figure out what you're doing, because we can hear you a little bit. We can hear you a little bit. Oh, oh. I don't want no trouble. I stay quiet with that shit. I don't want no trouble. Oh, oh, all right. Talking about the government and what they doing. Fuck that. Hey, man. I just want you got an idea, bitch. They gonna come eat you. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't got an idea. We ain't, we ain't doing that. Yeah, we ain't no threat. We ain't got a big enough platform. We start getting a big enough platform. We want we'll start talking about the shit they want us to talk about. Trust me, we gonna apply now. We gonna apply. Nah, huh? You know the first thing they wanna do is play basketball. Look at that money. Look at him. Hey, hey, we'll talk about sports then. Shit, whatever they. Hey, we gonna apply, man. Hey man, this shit ain't worth it. You see Jay Z? Shit, I'm with Jigga, man. Fuck that. Y'all get mad. Y'all get mad at me, man. I'm I'm with Jigga, man. <laughs> hey man, the people gonna turn on you anyways, man. Fuck though. That motherfucker gonna turn on you anyway. Fuck though. Everybody ain't gonna like. Everybody ain't gonna like you anyway, man. That's what I'm saying. They gonna turn. They gonna be the first one to put you on the cross. So you a dance with the enemy? Dance with the enemy. I'm saying I got personal morals that I ain't gonna turn on myself. Right. But anything that opinionated with other people, I give a fuck about right. your opinion. I'm right. with Jigger. Right. Give me the bag. Yeah. Hey, me. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Cause how the fuck you gonna right. how right. you gonna right. not agree with that? Thing. I don't give a fuck. The whole NFL is, is right. black. It's all black. So, so what the fuck you gonna get mad at me for? <laughs> tell them motherfuckers to stop playing football. Until, 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 until you tell them niggas to stop playing football, bitch, I'm gonna get money too. Real, they won't make no money because that's where all the time. Exactly. exactly. But you gonna get mad at me? But you gonna get mad at me because they offer me a bag. Right. I'm not breaking my neck out there for them crackers. I ain't losing no leg, no limbs, no nothing. I'm just pushing buttons. I'm gonna get that bag. Get mad at them niggas on that bench. There's a hundred black motherfuckers. Tell them to send the white boys out there. They won't even have a football team. Right. That's shit. That's shit. Wild. That's shit. Wild. <laughs> so, so how you go? How you gonna get mad at somebody else? How the, how the fuck you mad at Jiggle? Yeah, how you gonna get mad at Jiggle Money? All but the, all the but you still but playing. you watching football? You get mad at Jiggle Money, but you the first one on Sunday. Oh man, I bet the Cowboys gonna win. <laughs> I bet, man, y'all gonna boycott, man. Nah, we need somebody like him in position. Nah, Who? Exactly, man. That's what they were saying. Listen, man, y'all they listen, did. y'all listen to these motherfuckers that don't got nothing. Y'all be round the sideline with their with nothing, with nothing. Exactly. talking hypocritical. Dumb ass shit. You watching football. Bitch, you the main promoter. Right, for real. You watching football talking about, oh man, he was a sellout. 
<laughs> you gotta finish the football team. You yeah. the but you like, oh, the Cowboys, my best team. <laughs> hey, make up your mind. You either with this shit or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they. When, you kneel, when, it, when, it, when the shit come on with it. When I'm, I'm I was in the fifth grade, I ain't never understood the pressure of lesions. Like, I was digging in my nose when they was doing that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I ain't never understand that shit. Oh yeah, they gonna make you do that shit. They still make them do that. Man, they don't. This is America, man. You they took the word out though. I think they took like a big shit out. Yeah, you still do that shit, bro. Listen, only thing they took out the Bible shit. Like now, now in the Bible, you can't be preaching all that. God stuff. This shit, this Jesus shit, stuff. This shit is America. Every, everything was structured yeah. like fucking prison almost, man. School. Okay. Yeah, y'all crazy, military. man. Talk that shit on arrogant assholes. You don't be talking that shit on that. Nah, man, nah, listen, nah. man. We gonna go to um, what? To pull up, man. Then they wanna go talking political oh, shit on our shit. But you don't wanna talk. Oh, yeah, no political yeah. shit on your shit. Nah, I'm, you I'm wanna right. be talking about eating ass and shit on your shit. But you wanna come over here talking about. Yo, you don't like that, Tim? <laughs> Why you make that face? You don't like that? Well, you all the way out, boo. <laughs> you all the way out. <laughs> I'm 